Twice, Jesus cried in the Bible. Just a few minutes and we'll wrap up. There are two times we see that Jesus wept in scripture. Number one was in the book of John chapter 11. When you read from verse 35, he wept when he came to the grave of Lazarus. And they said, oh, how he loved him. But the second time that Jesus wept in scripture was when he stood over Jerusalem. And the Bible says he wept and said, oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. If you had known, even in this day, your time, the things that make for your peace, he says, but they are hidden from your eyes. Can I tell you this? Every result you desire in this kingdom, there is a mystery that connects you to it. Merely wanting the result will frustrate you. You must find out the principle it takes. Apostle, I want to be great. I came from a family where no one has risen. You are not the first. Ask Abraham. Abraham came from a family of idol worshippers, all of the Chaldeans. But God called him. Gideon, from a family, defeated family. You are not the first to come out of a family of disadvantage. Apostle, I've lost everything through the pandemic. You are not the first to lose. Ask Job. Job lost everything. But the Bible tells us again in chapter 42 from verse 10 to 12 that God restored the fortunes of Job. Let me prophesy over someone here. Everything that has left you that should not leave you in this conference by the power that raised Christ from the dead, we call it back to your destiny. We call it back to your destiny. Please sit down. Can I tell you this? When you see our Father in the Lord stand like this and declare over your life that in the name of Jesus it is well with you and it looks casual and doors open, he's not just speaking. There is a principle that supports what he's saying. For instance, where the word of a king is, there is if you are not a king and you speak, there will not be power. The, before you speak, verify whether you know the revelation. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 5 and verse 10, that he has made us a kingdom of kings and priests unto our God, and we shall reign on earth. Can I challenge you therefore, utilize the moment of this conference. Don't just sit down and listen to speaker after speaker alone and close your book and go back. Cry unto the Lord. And ask him, Lord, what principle do I not know that may be tying me down? What principle do I not know that is making the devil look victorious over my life? Your assignment in this conference is to be like a spiritual archaeologist searching for the missing link to the next level of your life.